Okay, so this is going to be problem number five from the sample GED test. And this is the last one where we're not allowed to use a calculator. So we want to find the value of the expression negative three multiplied by five squared plus two multiplied by the quantity four minus 18 plus three squared. This is going to involve the order of operations. So that's what this question is testing you on. And a lot of times people will use the, we'll say use PEMDAS. And P basically says do anything in parentheses. E says use exponents next. Now multiplication and division basically have equal priority. So it's multiplication and division. And these, the convention is you do it left to right. And last but not least, we do addition and subtraction. All right, so the first thing is, let's simplify the stuff in the parentheses. So we've got negative 3 multiplied by 5 squared plus 2. Okay, so 4 minus 18, that's going to be negative 14, plus 3 to the third. Okay, so there's really nothing less left to simplify inside of the parentheses. So next it says do exponents. So we have negative 3 multiplied by 5 squared. Well, that's 5 times 5, which is going to be 25. Three to the third. Now be careful, because three to the third, right, that means three multiplied by three multiplied by three. Three multiplied by three is nine. If you multiply that by another three, you're gonna get 27. So I've definitely a common mistake. I've seen people will say three to the third, oh, that's nine, because they're thinking three multiplied by three, but that's not correct, right? It means we have three threes. So if you, if this is something that you uh, found that you make it, uh, tend to make a mistake on, write it out. You know, write it out and do it a little s slower, and that way, hopefully, you'll get the correct answer. Okay, now it says we're going to do multiplication and division. Well, we don't really have any division in this problem. So negative three multiplied by twenty-five. That's going to be negative seventy-five. I always think about money quarters. If I've got three quarters in my pocket, I've got seventy-five cents. I've got a negative times a positive, so it's going to be a negative. Likewise, I've got positive 2 multiplied by negative 14. That's going to give me negative 28. A positive times a negative is a negative. 2 times 14 is going to be 28 plus 27. Now, <clears throat> this is one of those. You could do negative 75 minus 28. Now I think, uh, that's a little obnoxious. Um, I'm going to do negative 28 plus 27 first, because those numbers are real close together, and it's easier for me to do that arithmetic. So negative 28 plus 27, that's going to leave us with negative 1, and then negative 75 minus 1, that's going to be negative 76, and that'll be our solution.